is what we call hater shit. There is no better term. The best weight you'll ever lose is the weight of other people's opinion of you. Being aware of perception of people in power over you is different than caring about the opinions of the rest of the world. We won't agree with a lot of what is true about the world. The best option is to evolve, adapt, and rally for small incremental change. As long as there is always movement toward the goal, we are always getting closer. All it takes is one move from God, just one. Couples who can find agreement in these five areas have a very low risk of divorce. One, religion, faith and values. Two, parenting. Three, finances. Four, in-laws, boundaries, etc. Five, SCX. This is not my secret. It's yours. That's like, wasn't that like the apartment, like the studio days? My eyes aren't brown. They are this. <laughs> oh, that freaking picture. That was forever ago, too. It's so weird. And I swear, I always thought this was like a fake picture. And I, I never knew. Like, it took me a little bit to realize. Heather actually. Is that a holy Bible right there? Heather actually put Drake behind her. Bet you look stupid now knowing what the old idiot's done. May 18th, 2024. I miss my babies, my family, my life, having rights, etc. Pumping on the go. 1.38 p.m. Heather Gillespie. 1 Heather G. Oh, it's another new shirt. The United States of America, SMH, shake my head, America where? Drake should have stopped making music after the Dark Lanes demo tapes. Oh, what, you want to talk shit now because he's guilty as, f and he's weird, and he's a freaking pedo, and he's nasty, and he done off people? Oh, you look so stupid. I said it. The last two albums are trash. <laughs> All of a sudden, she don't like Drake no more. <laughs> Drake should have stopped making music after the Dark Lanes demo tapes. I said it. The last two albums are trash. <laughs> she said, I said it. <laughs> oh. And also, what's a yeet? Yeet. Yeet. Oh, wait. I'm going to tell y'all something right now. Y'all better stop making shit up. What the heck does bear mean nowadays? I've seen, like, two reels, and it was like, oh, I'd rather a bear over a some kind of guy, or I'd rather... It's just really weird. I don't know what it means, and I don't even want to look it up. Like, I don't understand why people be making up words. Like, we have enough words. Yeet. To discard an item at a high velocity. Alex finishes his soda and proceeds to yeet his in <laughs> and proceeds to yeet his empty can into a trash bin. I like how they try to like make the sentence sound all proper, but then when I add yeet into it. Alex, while throwing the can, yeet. Oh, my gosh. Urban Dictionary. It has failed. God is within her. She will not fall. Just left church for the 10th week in a row without missing one pumping and then probably heading back there for a brunch. I love my children and my life and want to go back to my life pre-COVID Minus the whole being human traffic part, please. I cannot. Mm. Police and human rights lawyer. Wish I could clarify more, but I'm in court because I was homeless when I gave birth. Now, even with housing, I'm still in court and my son is now three months old. 
I have no criminal record, no history of drug or alcohol abuse, and have housing now. So for anyone who's been following along uh, my entire story since 2020, when I was first unlawfully thrown out of my apartment, um, we've had very little resolution. And you all know there's some uh, situation currently going on um, that is in court. Uh, that was continued all the way to June. And then now there's wow. an email link saying that they need to continue it to August. So I am starting to feel... June and then till August. So what are you going to be doing then, Heather? And I, I wonder if they're going to give, like, help her, like, go into a transition house or something, or is she going to be back on the street? Oh, my faith tremble, and I keep going to church and literally, like, begging God to make this make sense for me. There is no place in this world without my children. I need to be with my kids. Um, I, but you so, know, your but your actions don't show that, and just because you show up to church doesn't mean you're actually showing up for God and having that one on one with God. Like this is irritating. Like you're not, you cannot be that ignorant. Frustrated, and I'm just trying to keep the faith at this point. On a walk today, I saw a Bentley, an electric Cadillac truck, a parade of people seeking peace in Ukraine and the Middle East, a mother who was fighting for custody of her child who was unlawfully taken from her, and a mother on the ground at a busy intersection with her child trying to make ends meet by selling candy. What? Twelve forty five PM. This is America, Chicago, Illinois, May nineteenth, two thousand twenty four. Hi, guys. So this Hi is guys. how much breast no. milk I'm producing <laughs> he'll, he'll. Currently for Friday night. So Friday five after five and Saturday, all of this. And then Sunday I start saving it and bagging it for Weston. Um, and then Sunday, it goes Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, bring it to him on Wednesday. And then, um, Thursday, I bring Wednesday and Thursday's pumps. I bring Friday. I mean, thir Friday, yeah, Girl. Friday. And then Friday night and Saturday, I have to dump because I don't have a freezer here. We're just using this small fridge, but I like to keep it. So Why does the room look different? I don't know if it's just the setup. <laughs> she probably like moved everything around, made it more homey. I can measure how much I'm producing. And I only get the breastfeed right now on, um, I only get the breastfeed right now. Hi guys. So this is how much breast milk I'm producing currently for Friday night. So Friday five after five and Saturday, all of this. And then sun. I'm sorry. I love, why do you have to write breast milk on it? Or do y'all think it's going to be regular milk and y'all going to drink it? Day I start saving it and bagging it for Weston, um, and then Sunday it goes Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, bring it to him on Wednesday, and then um, Thursday I bring Wednesday and Thursday's pumps. I bring Friday. I mean thir Friday, yeah, Friday, and then Friday night and Saturday I have to dump because. I don't have a freezer here. We're just using this small fridge, but I like to keep it so that I can measure how much I'm producing. And I only get the breastfeed right now on, um, I only get the breastfeed right now. 
Heather says, breastfeeding is worth the stress. Pumping milk and breastfeeding while being separated from my newborn has been a very stressful but also an incredibly rewarding experience so far. I want to breastfeed until he turns two if possible. Now it's two. First you said one. And now you now now you're saying two. The antibodies, the bonding, the boost in my post pregnant weight loss. There it is. There is no way to recreate the milk that my body makes for my child, customized for his needs and in the work since we were one body. Humans are remarkable. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Heather says, is it only my accounts that require monthly payments for verification badges? Heather, you have to pay for it. She's so mad. Like, she thinks she's the only one who has to pay for it. I swear, Heather, if you waste your money just to have a freaking check mark, I'm going to lose my shit. Okay, so I don't know who is saying these. But either Heather or Xavier said WTH, which means what the hell. I don't know who that person is, but it says, As I said yesterday and Friday, last week, and at court on Monday, for Wednesday we will... That's probably someone from DCF. Her daughter or Heather said, I love you, have a great day. And then that was probably Heather because... I love you, Poppy. Have a great day. I love you. Have a great day. And then, good morning. Are you taking my baby for his haircut? I can send half if you want. How, Heather? And then her mother, one of them says, No, I said the opposite. I said none of my family or friends have been a part of... All right, May 20th, 2024. I am not new to fitness. Baby boy is three months old and I am struggling to jog two laps. Can't even get through five walking lunges. Sorry for you. I came out here to run. I walked slash ran three or four laps. It's huge. We're at Pearson. Huge park. I have a track, and I'm weak right now, and I I came out here to run. I walked slash ran three or four laps. It's huge. We're at Pearson. Huge park. I have a track, and I'm weak right now, and I... Good morning, Heather Gillespie. Morning, Sprint. Oh, how could I forget? How could I forget? 13 weeks postpartum. Running sprints from there to there, to there, to there, to there. Have work in between. Running sprints from there to there, to there, to there, to there. Have work in between. Just do it. Two thirty eight AM. You're welcome. That's not an inhaler, dog. I need everyone to listen and let me know. You're pumping, ma'am. You're pumping and you're Sounds like you're doing this as well. And the way that she moves, because for a minute I was like, well, maybe it was Xavier, even though I don't think that's Xavier's thing. Maybe everything's Xavier's thing. I don't know. But how she was moving the phone and the camera, and then whenever. You start hearing that noise, the phone is still while that noise is being made. And again, you're supposedly pumping. This is a very problematic video that I really hope uh, the most important people in this case see. Mr. 
Dude, that scares the shit out of me. How the fuck do people do that? Whoever, if anyone does that shit, please stop. Please stop. This is why she ain't act. This is why she's so crazy. She killing all her damn freaking cells in her brain. She killing all her brain cells. Baby was born February 19, 2024. That makes him 13 weeks old yesterday. I'm still breastfeeding. And pumping every four to six hours, 24 hours a day. What was, when was, was this yesterday? I think that, was this yesterday or was this this morning? I didn't look at the clock. Eight hours ago. She was breastfeeding 2.30 in the morning, Tuesday morning. The, that is the milk that you supposedly keep for Weston, is it not? That's not one of your pump and dump days. Whenever I hear you say, like, you you know, you have to pump and dump on, what, Friday and Saturday, I believe. To me, I hear you get, you're excited. You get to do whatever you want to, pretty much, because you get to dump it. But you're sitting here, if you're seriously fucking doing this duster. Okay, sorry, this was aggravating me very much, so. Like, I, <laughs> I hate this. So... It says, inhalants contain many toxic substances which are harmful to both you and your baby. It is believed that nearly all inhalants cross the placenta and enter the baby's bloodstream. For this reason, it is important you stop using inhalants during pregnancy. Reduced oxygen, which can affect brain development. You are a whore bag. You fucker. You little fucker. You want to fuck up your little fucking life and your fucked up head, but you got to fuck with his? That's the shit that fucking pisses me off, bro. It's, please, whoever is in con whoever's in I'm not in contact with any fucking caseworker with this case so whoever is I really hope they get this video like how many times do they got to see they've they've got to find another way to test this bitch and if they are testing her and they know and see these videos and they know that she's doing inhalants and she's breastfeeding him that is a whole nother fucking case that I really hope somebody will jump on okay now this one says the effects of inhalants during breastfeeding have not been fully researched. Yeah, there's not that many fucking weird ass fucking freaks out there. Sorry. Whilst major quantities of inhalants probably do not pass through to your breast milk, breastfeeding, breastfeeding whilst affected by inhalants is not safe and not recommended. After the birth, a doctor will check your baby. Wow. So you did it while you were pregnant, and you probably freaked up his brain development already, and now you're still doing it while you're breastfeeding because you just don't really give a fuck. Clearly. No fucks given. Fuck you, dude. Dude, that shit, like, really irritates me. <clears throat> Anyways. He was born February 19, 2024. That makes him 13 weeks old yesterday. I'm still breastfeeding and pumping every four to six hours, 24 hours a day, because I'm a scumbag of the earth, and I hate my fucking life. Three months postpartum, and I am finally starting to work out. I've been very active with cardio. We've done at least three to five miles a week. Almost I'm sorry, I can't. You've finally been able to work out, but you finally haven't been able to work out a damn job. What the hell are we doing? We're really wasting time until that, that shelter closes, right? every single week if not every single week since he's been born the first week postpartum i did seven miles walking to a shelter from the hospital or eight was it seven or eight miles eight. it was on the other side of humble park so the southwest side of humble park um, and we walked there from st what isn't that ironic humble joseph's hospital three days postpartum so um I'm just starting now to incorporate additional working out. Uh, I should have already probably lost close to 50 pounds with the amount of pumping I've been doing. Pumping burns 500 to 700 calories a day and breastfeed. So we're back at it. 